Hey guys, iMovie How To here, and today I'll be showing you the new iMovie 10.0.6 update for OS 10 Yosemite. First, like the entire interface is updated for the new operating system, so it looks even more flat, including the icon here on the dock. The next change is that there's no more adjust panel. There's now just a row of icons that are always here, and these icons now match the iOS 7 version and OS 10 Yosemite. Also, where the adjust button used to be, there's now the share button, and it got moved from over here to over there. So the next thing that's new is that there's now a new type of project you can make. It's called an app preview, and this just allows you to make, if you're a developer or someone who has an app, what you can do is you can actually use some special new titles and transitions to help make a video about your app. So one of the biggest new features in this update is that you can actually customized file exporting. Before, when you like did file export, it would only give you like certain resolution options, but now there's actually a new quality slider here. And you can go low, medium, high, best, but now I can even do custom and export it at custom bitrate or even do best and it exports it at the ProS codec, which is great because you can export in a lossless format. So now you're not as limited to iMovie's compression anymore, which is a pretty good feature to have, especially if you want to export your video clip to another program. One other thing in this menu that's also new is you can export your project as an audio file only. Let's say you edited some music and all you want to do is export an audio file. You don't have to like export it and extract it from a QuickTime file. All you have to do instead is export using this option. The next thing also is in this share menu. So you can now export any frame of your video as an image. So you can do share image, and you can just save an image frame like this. It says share successful. I'm not really sure where to put it. Yeah, put it on the desktop right here. And there, as you see, it just saved like the image frame itself. So you don't have to export the movie in like screenshot. You don't have to do that anymore. You can just do that and directly export a frame. So that's pretty nice. So that's basically the update. Thanks for watching this iMovie update video. If you liked this video or thought this video was helpful, be sure to like this video, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.